For the last two months, I've been doing stuff that's very out of my comfort zone. Uh, I've been playing the actual game. The last quest I did was Fairy Tale Part 2, completed on November 22nd of last fucking year. It's been a while. Let me run through a quick recap before Quest Guide does quests again. I bought a house. I'm currently 47 construction. Too poor to keep going. I own a Rune Defender. I tried Pest Control, but it turned out the real Pest Control didn't come out until 2007, so I said fuck that. I did Barrows. My current KC is 138. Between chests 59 and 138, I received 11 total uniques. Darok Plate Legs, two Varak Chess Guys, two Carol's Coifs, Carol's Skirt, Aram's Rope Top, Aram's Hood, Guthin's Dad Bod, Carol's Crossbow, last but not least, Torag's Hammers. With the new gear, I headed to the Fight Caves, and with the help of my personal trainer, who pays me to train me, by the way, I conquered Jad in one of the closest attempts in OSRS history. <gasps> oh my fucking god, dude! <laughs> 4 HP, bitch! I've got all this new stuff that turned me from a little baby noob child idiot dumbass into the man everyone has always aspired to be. But apparently, that wasn't enough. Because shortly after my barrows grind, the RNG gods decided to put the icing on the cake and deliver me the most unexpected drop of all time. Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> no fucking way! <laughs> That's correct, ladies and gentlemen. 1 in 31,200. This actually came on my 2,000th kill on the dot. I'd been camping there for herbs to get prayer potions. I didn't even know they dropped that. So this was awesome, but it presented one problem. Dude, I gotta make money. I've gotta make money. I gotta sacrifice some stuff. You ever make money in a 2006 version of this game? I've always struggled with making money on this account. Picking flax, making bowstrings, and selling them in Varrock West Bank was the peak efficiency of money making in 2006. I can't trade anyone. I was stumped. Jimmy. God? No, it's you on Premiere later. Oh. Yeah, I know how you can make money. Am I, am I dead? Why are you doing the ghost voice? No, what is that? Why would you be dead? Look under your chair. My chair? What the fuck I, did you put under my chair? Just look. You? Don't ask the... Why are you asking questions? G Fuel? That's what it says. That's... It's already open. Did you have a sip of it? What no. is it? Wait. Am I a G Fuel guy? Maybe. Did they make me they, a... I'm a G Fuel guy? They might have made you a no G Fuel way. guy. I'm like a real professional gamer now. Like a, like an E-athlete. Uh, I wouldn't go that, is that far. Is that what they, they call them? Call them that, but not you. It's probably because I'm really good at CSGO videos. Yes. Yep. Wow, this is great. Thanks, me. But I'm still broke in game. This doesn't really right. solve my money issue, you're so... You've got the answer in um, your hands. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take that thing, put it to your mouth, and drink it. Okay. Just uh, drink it. Just fucking... I don't put, see how that... Fucking drink okay, it. Okay, dude. I'm, Jesus Christ. Thank you. I know everything. In my bank were well over 500 blue dragon hides that I had sitting there for almost a year. If I got my crafting level up three levels, I would have 66 crafting and I could make blue dehyde van braces that alk for a whopping 1800 each. So I got going. I headed to Catherby and bought over 1500 buckets of sand and soda ash from the charter guys. I was unstoppable. Bank. Charter. Drink. Hop world's charter. Sand. Soda ash. Drink. Run to bank. Drink. Hop. Charter. Sand. Soda ash. Hop. Charter. Hop. Bank. I had what I needed. It's time to smelt. Port phasmatis. G fuel run, baby plastered on the wall of the furnace. There it is. Yeah, baby. 66 crafting was achieved. It was time to become a millionaire. I have to go tan them. I forgot about that part. Jesus Christ. High elk value 1800. Fuck yeah, baby. Crafted the van braces, got to alking, and before I knew it, I had what I needed. 751k. Even better. Attention. Yes. Sound the alarm. God, this is so exciting. What are you selling? Oh, that's what you're selling, huh? 750k. Yeah, you know what? I'll take it off your hands. No problem. I know exactly where to make the shield, too. We're gonna give an anvil some attention that, that it deserves, but never gets. Doric? I've never made this shield before. Doric, I, uh, I know you gave me access to your anvils a long time ago, and I really appreciate that. I'm about to do something very iconic on it. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, we've created Dragon Square Shield. Holy fuck.
Well, folks, it's been a while. The date is July 24th, 2006. We're heading to Relica, land of the Vikings, to start Quest 109, Lunar Diplomacy. Good morning, gentlemen. Working hard, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> it's like an erection. This quest will get us a brand new state-of-the-art spellbook to do all sorts of useful things. I mean, we won't get to do any of it until I make money. The shield made me a very poor man, but eventually we will do the useful things. I'm looking for a man by the name of Lokar. Yep, there he is right on cue. Don't talk to me, Outlander. Well, hold on a second, dude. I'm practically the fucking king of this place, and I'm the actual king of a place near this place, and I'll have you killed. This guy used to be a Fremenic, but he said that was boring, and he wanted to attack innocents, steal, and then get hammered with prostitutes. He's saying his pirate buddies are at a place called Lunar Isle. Chilling with the Moon Clan, the Fremenic's biggest enemy for hundreds of years. I'm gonna head there, but I gotta talk to the chief before I go. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna disguise myself as a peaceful diplomat representing the Fremenics as I uh, try to make peace. At least that's what uh, the, the chief here thinks. In reality, I'm gonna go to these Moon Clan people and see what kind of benefits I can reap. It's good to be back. All right, he's gonna take us to his crew. He's gonna go on a little rowboat with him, I guess. Whoa, nice ship. Let's find the captain. Captain Bentley, peg leg guy. Why are peg legs a pirate thing? I like this parrot. He just called Lokar a loser. I want a parrot who constantly talks shit about everyone. I just asked this guy about the ship because it's badass. It was a steal from the Corumjan shipyards. When I say it was a steal, I mean to say that myself and some of the lads broke in and stole it one night. I don't know who they were building the warships for, but whoever it was seemed to be a little on the short side. This dude stole one of Gluff's warships. Remember back in Monkey Madness where we like shut that whole operation down? This was one of the ships he wanted to kill all the humans in. All right, anyway, the captain said he could take us to Lunar Isle. So here we go. And we just went in a circle. Whose fucking fault was this? I'm talking to the navigator, asking him why he just sailed us in a big stupid circle because I'm fucking 12 years old. He said he's perfect and he's never made a mistake in his life, so the ship must be jinxed. Okay, the captain said it happens all the time apparently, so he's not lying. As a guest of the ship, we're gonna interrogate the entire crew. This is a good idea. I'm thinking green hair over here did it. I know she did. I have a reason to believe there's a jinx aboard this ship. It might even be you. Do I look like a jinx to you? Shut up, Jenny. You're holding a steel scimitar. You're going to the fucking cow pens? What are you gonna do with that? This guy, Eagle Eye Schultz, is telling me what a jinx is. It's a magic curse thing placed usually because someone got pissed off. And the pissed off person says, fuck you, man, watch this. So someone on this ship pissed someone off. We we know that. I bet it was this kid. Kids fuck everything up. Anything good, they take it and destroy it. It's the kid. Look, I didn't even say anything. And he's already tucking his tail between his legs. Look at this guilty little shit. I'll throw you overboard and not lose a second of sleep. Okay, he's saying he didn't piss anyone off. So I'll play good cop for now. But I'm not done interrogating this asshole because I know for a fact. He's ruining my quest progression right now. Davy Boy here saw the kid sneak off during a feast on Lunar Isle. No one knows what he was up to. So, uh, yeah, it was the fucking kid. That's all the evidence I need. Just what I thought. He got lured by a girl. Had to happen at some point, kid. That's a very important life lesson. You carry that with you. I guess he drew symbols all over the ship because the lady told him to, and, uh, and he just forgot where he drew him, apparently, so I gotta find him and wash him off. Why does the kid not remember where he drew it? He's just giving me cryptic clues. If the kid's not doing this, why am I next in line to do this. There's like 12 crewmate pirates that are just standing around idling. Why, why do they not do this? Yeah, he didn't remember drawing this one on the cannon four feet from him. Fuck you. Here's one. Another. Got it. Fuck you. Okay, curse is lifted and the kid is overboard. Let's get going. We have arrived. Let's get in there and see what's going on. Oh, good. A cutscene. I love these. Very cool, Jagex. This is awesome. Thank you. I didn't see the city before, but now I see it. Here goes nothing. Why am I saying that? I, I don't say that. I'm not sure if it's standard for everyone to be floating here, but they're floating here. I just found this sketchy lady Meteora in a back alley. So the leader of this place doesn't even reside in the city. They just stand by themselves near the edge of the island. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, Moon Clan stuff. They're not that expensive. You know what? I'm a tourist. I don't mind splurging. I'm thinking, uh, how about everything? You know, I, I don't know how I feel. How about just the hat and the boots? I just, uh, shove everything else away. <laughs> there she is. Okay, I gotta be honest. If I was that kid and this lady told me to do something, I'd probably do it. Floating hot chick. How do you say no to that? Oh god, she can read my mind. Please don't. Please refrain. Apparently no one's even tried to make peace between these guys and the Fremenix. To prove myself to this wonderful woman, I'm going to be the one to do it. I've done so many things and I'll tell her all about them. So I've got to enlighten myself through a ritual they do. I need a waking sleep potion and then all the ritual armor to talk to Baba Yaga. She's in this house. This chicken house. And this is going to be obnoxious. How do you think straight? Oh, I actually love living in a constant state of nausea. Baba Yaga knows how to make the waking sleep potion. I've got to go get a tooth from one of those monsters outside the gates and then mix it with some herbs and, uh, and then I'm good to go. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I've had
had it with that. George, I'm fine. just stepped on me. Oh, God, it's coming again. Ow. I'm inside the leg of the chicken house. Wait a second. What the fuck? The cabin boy's here. I threw him overboard. Oh, no. He's getting lured again. There's a cash stack over there. I can't save him twice. All right, let me take one of these things out and get its tooth. Yeah, give me a tooth. Put a little bit of this in here, a little bit of that in there. Crush this up. I finished the potion. Now I have to do the staff. I've got to take my Draymond staff to the four elemental altars and just swing it up in the air or something and then it'll enchant it into a lunar staff. So let's go. God, dude, I just look so good. All right, there we go. I just hit it. I just hit the fucking altar. I just smacked it. That's how you enchant things. All right, here's the water altar. Wait, what? Okay, I love that. All right, there we go. Lunar staff part two. Okay, now it's part three. There we go. Bam, you now have the lunar staff. There it is. One of the ladies is gonna tan the hides of these things so I can make a bunch of the pieces. I'm just gonna camp these things for 40 years till I get the hides. Yeah, I made this staff. I can do a lot of things. I'm brave. I'm a hero. Killed some dragons once. Yeah, I made this shield myself with a hammer, by the way. Um, she told me how to get all the armor pieces. I just have to talk to a bunch of NPCs around the city and they'll tell me how to get things. Yeah, I hate walking from Camelot all the way to Relica. So I'm gonna do this quirky thing where I move my house to Relica. Perfect. I just went down this cave on the island. I need this ore for one of the pieces. I don't even remember which one it is, but you know, I got some. Hey, it's the helmet, by the way. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, I look disgusting. Yeah, I'm never putting that thing on again. I'm just perusing all the stores I stumble upon. Dude, I just bought this shirt. Look how good this looks. Oh my god, I'm never taking this off. Celine, maybe this is the one doing all the learning. This lady's father had the lunar ring, and he buried it for her to find as like a quirky daughter-father thing, and she just never looked for it when he passed away. It's just, you're a shitty daughter. <laughs> now, this is, uh, this is a really fun game. I can see why she didn't play it. You found a lunar ring. Oh, perfect. This bald lady just tanned all the hides so I can make the torso, trousers, gloves, and boots. Aha! I got an amulet on me, Ed. Okay, I guess we're gonna go find this lady's lucky tiara. Killing more of these guys. Averaging uh, one kill every 75 minutes. There it is. A special tiara for a very, very special girl. Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> okay. Give me it, yo. We gotta get away from this person. Last thing we need is a cape. I'm on the lookout for- Whoa! This girl looks Looks like she's doing the luring around here. There's actually a foolproof way to find out if an NPC in this game is actually made to be hot. Gonna scroll over to the RuneScape 3 wiki real quick. Yep, okay, yep, this girl is uh, doing the luring. I just guessed her name as the first one on the list and it worked, so I'm good. Go back to the other hot floating lady. She's giving me some magic kindling from the first magic tree ever. This is very cool, thank you. We've got it all here, we're ready to go, and uh, now we gotta do the ritual. I'm still wearing my Darok pants, I look ridiculous. Ridiculous. Watch this one tick switch. Yeah, haters will say it's AHK. I think I got everything I need, uh, except for a fucking tinderbox. Be right back. Okay, now I have everything. Um, toss that in there and uh, flashbang. Holy fuck. Okay, this place is kind of cool. Who are you? I'm in the land of my own dreams, buddy. Uh, this is not what I dream about. This is trust me. Trust me when I say this is this is not my my dream. So there's six tests in this little dream area. They're all gonna teach me life lessons or something. So I guess we're gonna go do that. Ooh, the music one. This challenge is to make a song about this quest. I'm not doing that, fuck you. First life lesson, quality over quantity, kids. So this is like a giant mime event. I just have to mimic his emotes. Oh, he he waved. Do I just wave now or? He was just telling me goodbye, okay. Ah, are you crying? Ah, me too, look. Oh. Dance, dance, dance. This is awesome. This is such a good lesson. Can you see how important it is to be able to communicate with others? Okay. Whoa. <laughs> God, am I okay? Have you learned anything? It's important to relate to others, blah, blah, blah. My guy's just spewing a bunch of big words to fool this guy into thinking he knows what he's talking about. I see right through me. What's going on here? One, two, seven, three, six, nine. You have to teach this man how to count to 10. He's just doing one of those number pattern things like what comes next? On to the next one. All right, what's this sketch ball doing? I'll take the left route, you take the right. Well, that doesn't seem fair. Mine has jumps and curves and swerves. Yours is a straight line. Oh, this is like one of those equality things things. You were born with privilege and this person was not. Therefore, th they have lightning balls and curves in their road and, and you do not. And you get struck by lightning and they do not. You get struck by lightning twice and they do not. They continue walking one step at a time every four seconds and you get struck by lightning once more. I have 61 agility. There's no way this 
What the fuck? Oh, thank you. Privilege strikes once more. As you can see, his privilege outweighed your privilege. Therefore, he wins. You see how difficult you have it compared to the man with privilege? Work hard and you will beat the privileged man. Thanks for playing. Have you learned anything? Well, as I had more curves and swerves in my path. For this task, I have to cut 20 trees before he cuts 20 trees. I like how some of the challenges are these deep intellectual thoughts and philosophies about society in general. And then this one's like, get the trees before the bad guy gets the trees. Know what you can do so you know how to learn. Shut the fuck. Oh, this is gonna suck, dude. This is like, this is like that one thing from Underground Pass where you had to remember your path. It's just a trial and error until you find out which one doesn't fuck you. Oh, I love this. Two hours later. Well done. What have you learned? That you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Hello. Let's have a game, by release. It's a game of luck, or is it? Today, I teach you about the Duel Arena and how it's a giant scam. See, we've been fixing the Duel Arena wins for decades, and no one seems to notice, so we keep doing it because it's funny. Okay, I'm not even gonna explain this one. This is just stupid. I am incredible. What have you learned? Whipping 100 mil. I've done all six tests, but apparently there's one more. Flashbang through the door. All right, it's time to chop more trees. Wait a second, is that me? Hello, me? <laughs> what do you think of this? Whoa, I'm teleporting. Whoa, you're teleporting, you are me. Are you me? Am I you? No, you're... I'm me. Leave me alone, me. Oh, I could do better than that. Pussy! <laughs> you gotta be hard on yourself sometimes. Yeah, let them know. Flashbang. I did it. I beat myself with a stick. Let's see what it says about my life. He began his career by doing the quest in the order of- Oh, fuck you. Okay, we win. What if that entire dream sequence thing was exactly how the cabin boy put a jinx on the ship and now the ship is jinxed again? I'm more than welcome to use the altar behind you to craft runes. Yeah, yeah, you'd fucking love that. Quest complete. 50 astral runes. We can use lunar spells. Watch this. Look at all these spells we're too poor to cast. How's about the old standard spell book, huh? All right, let's get out of here. I plan on putting the next quest in this episode, but I know your attention spans are already expired, so I'll send us off there. I've got two other projects I want to get out this month, so I won't be gone long, don't you worry. I also want to thank G Fuel for sponsoring this video. You guys can use code JIMMY at checkout to get a limited 30% discount. I made sure to taste test the shit out of a ton of flavors before working with them, and you have my word, it's good. Each time you use my little code, it directly supports me, the series, and the channel, so thank you to those who go for it. That's all I've got today. I'll see you guys soon.